up and pacing. That's Rip Hill going to the lead on the outside. Between horses, Electric Stenna ain't no stopping him on the inside. Alley's Western gets away fourth. Racing fifth, Grand Trey Car. Six is the Blue Pan Group. Trent in the field, San Francisco. As they race around the turn, going to the first quarter mark. Mike Lachance takes with Hell to the front end. Racing second, ain't no stopping him. Opening quarter, 27 and one. John Campbell moves, ain't no stopping him to the front end. With Hell, racing second. Electric Stenna third. Halley's Western is fourth. Grand Trey Car fifth. The Blue Pan Group sixth. San Francisco can see them all. The end of the turn and go into the halfway point. On top of the field, it's ain't no stopping him. With Held, racing second. Electric Stenna third. First stop, Alley's Western and Brian Sears. Half 56 and two. 29 and one. Second quarter. Following the cover will be Grand Trey Car. Up the inside, San Francisco. Down the backside, the Blue Pan Group. Going to the three-quarter mark. Ain't no stopping him. With the lead. Withheld second. Alley's Western inching up on the outside. Electric Stenna racing fourth. Grand Trey Car fifth. San Francisco sixth. Three quarters, 124. 27 and three backside. And ain't no stopping him. Opens up for John Campbell. Withheld racing second. Electric Stenna comes to the outside. Down the stretch. Say come, ain't no stopping him. Withheld on the inside, electric stand on the outside. Ain't no stopping him tonight. He wins the messenger for John Campbell. One fifty-two and two. Electric stand a second. Withheld. Just a spectator in this one. Uh, just a great, great effort by your Colt. Yeah, I think it's uh, as good as he's been all year. Um, I was really impressed with him. I, I thought he would uh, had a real good chance to win the second. He the Adios, and he just didn't finish as strong as he did tonight. He he was really on his game tonight. Down to the quarter in 27 and one. Mike Lachance comes with withheld on the outside, but there's no doubt you're going to retake immediately. Correct? Yeah, as good as he raced in the front, uh, the first heat. I, I wanted to try and control things as much as I could the second. And uh, uh, Joe and I have all thought, uh, both thought all year that his best race is on the front, and he, he fr finally proved us right. Now it's no question that uh, next week the Breeders' Crown Eliminations up at Mohawk Racetrack, you're headed that way with this cold, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, he, he's going up for the eliminations. I just saw Gallo Blue Chip uh, win a free-for-all up there and look very impressive, so it, it gets tougher as you go along. The fact that three different horses win all three legs of the Triple Crown this year tell you how wide open the three-year-old class is. This cold aside, who are the best in this division that's still wide open? Well, Gallo Blue Chip has been the most consistent and the, the biggest money earner and, and uh, the best performer of the three-year-olds, by far. Um, you know, he's just been there week in, week out. Um, at the same time, there's there's been different horses that have taken shots and taken turns beating him. And Astrios, I think, will bounce back. Uh, he didn't race the second heat tonight, but uh, he's shown in the past where he's capable of beating anybody on the, on the right night. John Campbell, congratulations on Messenger win at number four. Thanks a lot, John.